During this era, President George W. Bush was in office from 2001 to 2008, with George Bush being re-elected in 2004. He had defeated the Democratic Party candidate John Kerry. Bush only won by taking 53% of the Electoral College votes. The Iraq War was still raging on at this time, and the public opinion surrounding the war was split, with 54% saying that it was the wrong decision to go, and 38% said it was the right one. Bush and the Republican administration were also criticized for the torture of prisoners at Abu Ghraib. The government had turned a blind eye to the incriminating actions of prison guards at a prison in Abu Ghraib, where they beat prisoners and used unethical ways of torture. Bush's approval rating had dropped to 64.8% as a result. This was in great contrast to the beginning of his presidency, where his approval rating hit a record high of 92%. After his two terms were up, Barack Obama took the presidency in the later years of 2009. Obama had beat Republican nominee Mitt Romney, winning both the popular vote and the Electoral College. Obama getting elected was a major historical event during this era, where just 50 to 60 years ago, black civil rights activists were fighting for the right to even vote, and now the President of the United States was an African American. The people were thrilled to see this great accomplishment, with Obama's approval ratings being the second highest after World War II following Ronald Reagan. Obama was widely regarded as a good president. He is best known for saving the economy from the Great Recession and cutting unemployment rates. He also implemented his well-known program, Obamacare, which improved access of affordable health care. Democrats consider Obama's presidency to be scandal-free. However, conservatives disagree, saying that Obama had his share of controversy.